Hello adventurers, um, this is um, episode 107 of Adventures in Pop. You are incredibly welcome. Um, it is just after Easter and um, we're going to be talking today about Spotify's discovery mode, which is quite a new thing for me. So now I think a new thing for uh, its UK customers, it's Spotify for artists customers. So we're going to get right into discovery mode, um, particularly my discovery mode, and we're going to talk numbers. So if you don't like Spotify and you don't like numbers, this might not be for you. If you do, and you're curious about how this thing works, and what it does for the tracks that are kind of on its program, stick around because I'm going to show you everything. Um, I'm going to share the pages with you. I'm going to get down and dirty with the numbers and you are welcome to come along for the ride. Okay, we, let's back up a little bit with this um, discovery mode. Um, I didn't know it existed until a few weeks ago when I was suddenly invited um, to to take part because some of my songs, according to Spotify, were eligible. Now what Discovery Mode does, in short, is it picks up songs that are not new, so it's distinguishing itself from Marquee, which I'm not eligible for as yet, um, and is something that you pay for and it's about promoting something brand new. Discovery Mode is more about getting people to discover your back catalogue, so not new, you don't pay for it up front, Spotify take a 30% uh, cut of your royalties um, and a whole bunch of my songs were eligible. The way they put it to me was that uh, um, quite a number of my songs had become eligible for discovery mode um, but actually what they were doing is recommending that I put two of my songs into this you know kind of program um, and the rest, it kind of just mentioned that, you know, these ones are eligible too. Well, actually, I, I wanted to kind of go a bit further than just the two, partly because I don't know how often uh, I will be eligible for discovery mode. I think it's, there is a there is a kind of a barrier to entry around this um, uh, level of 25,000 uh, monthly listeners. And that's quite a high barrier. And I've talked about that before and it just happens that in the last couple of months uh, unusually I have been over that barrier so have been eligible so I guess I'm I'm, I'm thinking that I want to make the most of this while it's here because there may be months in the future where I'm you know nowhere near that level and therefore not invited to take part and the other thing is I'm just curious so I, I want to kind of see what it does and I think if you've only got two two songs um, being pushed forward on discovery mode you're going to have so much less data. So what I did is I, I went for six. So I, I went with the recommendations that they gave me and then I added some others. And I added others on the basis of the fact that they, you know, day after day, they keep on getting streamed. So I, I'm thinking that these are the ones that are kind of, uh, would, would well, would, would benefit from just being put in front of a wider audience. And that is what Discovery Mode attempts to do it, it it uses its algorithm uh, this you know basically is super computer system it uses the algorithm to try and find other people more people who might be uh attracted to that kind of type of music that genre of music and tries to put your your music in front of them. now the thing that's so interesting is that these six, six tracks entered discovery mode uh, at the beginning of april each discovery mode lasts for a month and then you you can mount a new campaign and actually i'm already lining up a, another six well some of the same again but it will be six altogether with some differences for may but obviously we can't talk about may yet we haven't seen what what may's um numbers are because we're still in april and i can show you though some of april's numbers so from the first of april to the 11th of april uh I got no information at all, they, and they, they told me that this was the case, that on the 11th of the month, um, I would start getting uh, daily updates on how my selection was doing in discovery mode. So basically, I chose six, uh, signed a thing to say, yes, I don't mind Spotify um, brutally taking away 30% of the royalties that um, are rightfully mine, 
Um, um, but, you know, there's a deal here. And the deal is that, you know, the, the Spotify algorithm picks up these six songs and thrusts them at people um, who have not otherwise heard anything about me or my music um, and are, you know, completely none the wiser. And it's really interesting then to see what the response is, what the take-up is. What's, his, what's the response overall? Then what's the response of some songs against other songs? So um, as I'm going to show you, some have done better than others. Uh, and it's really clear that there's one that is doing particularly better than the others. I'll show that to you. And what else can you learn? I think it, some of this will become clearer as the numbers kind of solidify towards the end of the month. Because we are only on today, as I'm speaking to you now, it's the 16th of April. Um, so, you know, we've still got half of April left to go. And it will carry on, um, even though we're onto a new promotion in May, it will carry on giving me some information about the April promotion for another... I, I think up until the 11th of May. I may have got that wrong, but I think that's what they were trying to explain. Now look, that, that sounds probably more complicated than it is. You just need to know that there's six of my songs in this promotion thing called Discovery Mode, and I'm gonna show you um, screen by screen um, what is going on with these tracks. So let's have a look at the first screen. And the first, the first screen that I wanna show you um, is basically just saying this is this is the screen that I get to when I click on the kind of promotions icon um, and this screen basically just says uh, May 2023 six songs scheduled we haven't got there yet April 2023 six songs active so when I click on then the the April line it takes me to this next screen and this is where we start to get the details of these tracks. So altogether, the total number of listeners that have, you know, have listened to these six songs because of Discovery Mode is 782. You can see that over there on the, on the left, um, of which 771 are new listeners. Uh, welcome to all of you. Um, and that is a lift from the previous month of 2,654%. I want to come back and say something about these percentages in a moment because, of course, that looks blooming marvellous, doesn't it? It looks like I've basically won the jackpot and, um, you know, I should be now just lying on a sun lounger somewhere. Uh, probably not quite the case. Anyway, so that's, that's the second screen I just want to show you there. Beginning to give me some figures there of actual listeners uh, so far, halfway through the month, um, that, I prob that I wouldn't have got if I hadn't joined discovery mode so all good I mean, it's not huge numbers but it's you know it's a little tiddly start isn't it uh let's have a look at the next screen um what this screen tells me um if the first screen was about listeners this screen is about streams so this one tells me that the total number of streams and it says here in radio and autoplay contexts i.e in discovery mode Total number of streams I've achieved is 984. So just coming up to 1,000 halfway through the month. So look, if at the end of the month um, I, I had managed to get 2,000 streams that I was not expecting, it's modest, isn't it? But it's something. And then again, uh, on the right-hand side there, what's the, the lift from the previous month? And we're talking about these particular... We're not talking about all of the streams on, on my channel, but from these six songs... The lift from the previous month is 1,964%. Again, it looks blooming huge and, you know, mighty and magnificent. And we just need to kind of hold that in check just for a second. So that's the number of streams. Okay, let's move on to the next screenshot for you. And I hope this is useful to you because you will find yourself, you know, thinking about... For, for those of you who put music onto Spotify, depending on, uh, I think, which distributor you have... That may affect whether you're invited sooner or later to take part in discovery mode. And when you do get invited, what you know, what I'm hoping is that this kind of information will help you make a decision as to whether you want to or not. I'm not here to say you must or you shouldn't, but here's what's happening to me. Okay, so uh, um, the final screenshot I want to show you is where we get into the you know into the real into the weeds of it, but it's really useful. So here are the six songs. 
Three of them are quite recent, and you can see that from the uh, little portrait of me at the age of five or six on the left-hand side there. The three coming up roses I should have known for the kids are recent singles released this year, then going back a little while, Night Owl and I Think I Love You a year or two ago, and Stiff Upper Lip, um, you know, at six months or so before that. Okay, and as I say, chosen for the fact that these are songs that regularly just keep on keeping on. Um, what do we find on here? Well, this is really interesting because this is where I, I do need to say something about these percentages. Okay, so um, this is changing every day, and obviously, as the, as the month goes on, this is uh, this is accumulating. So the numbers are going up. But let's take I don't know. Let's let's take the second one. I should have known. Um, it's had seventy five listeners part of this campaign. It's had eighty seven streams as part of this campaign. The listener uplift is one thousand six hundred fifty percent more than the previous month, i.e. in March. Um, and it's had 1,704% more streams than in March. And I guess, look, what I want to say about this is I think it's a little bit misleading and maybe a little bit naughty of Spotify to be presenting people with percentages like that because they do look huge, don't they? Um, but I just want to say something really boring and mathematical is... If the original number, i.e. the number of listeners and streams that you have or that I had for, I should have known here, um, in the previous month, if, if that number was 10, i.e. a small number, then a massive increase of 1,700% is still going to be quite a small number. So... I'm here just to just to pour a lot of cold water on these massive percentage increases and say, you know, that's that's interesting, but look at the actual numbers. Basically, we're talking about 87 streams, and that's not... I mean, it, it's not neither here nor there, really, in the end. And what I take from this overall, when you look at these six tracks and how they're performing as a result of being part of Discovery Mode... Um, we're halfway through the month, as I say. Really, I would say there is one track and one track only, one song only, that is really benefiting um, in, in a way that is going to be kind of noticeable. And that is at the top there, Coming Up Roses, um, with its 6,000% increase. And um, more importantly, actually 682 streams more than it would have got had it not been in discovery mode. So that, I think, is worthwhile. The other five, at this stage, I would say, mm, mm, probably not. Um, certainly, I think I love you, Stiff Upper Lip, you know, with six and six extra streams, respectively. No, not really worth anything. But, but I'm not losing anything, apart from the 30% of very few streams in terms of royalties. So, I, so it doesn't matter. But um, it's interesting that the one track is doing so much better than the rest and and the point is of course if I hadn't put all these six in uh you know I might have missed putting in coming up roses and, uh, and it's so serendipitous isn't it that because I didn't I wouldn't have guessed that coming up roses would be necessarily the one to do so much better than all the others I mean there's um I don't know why that is I'm delighted for it I love it and of course I love all my babies equally but I wouldn't have been able to predict that. And it's kind of interesting just to see it in black and white here that, you know, it's sort of doing seven times better than all the others. You know, it's doing many times better than all the others put together. Um, so interesting. I will keep you posted on this. It'd be quite good to having talked this through today is to come back for a follow up at the end of the campaign and just again share the numbers with you and, and let's see if anything's different um you know does coming up roses just run away with it and leave the others sitting there looking a little bit sullen uh, you know uh, rather static and stationary and not really doing much or is there going to be a sudden burst of energy from somewhere else we don't know yet but it's i'm but i'm very curious oh and one of the things you will have noticed let's not let's not gloss over this on the right-hand side here, numbers of saves, a number of playlist ads down the list, naught. So that's not very good. And, and I think um, hopefully by the end of the month that might have filled up a little bit because that, that ain't great. And I think Spotify 
you know, we'll be looking at this and thinking, okay, you know, yeah, lots more listeners, lots more streams, certainly in percentage terms, maybe not in actual raw numbers, but it's not bad. No saves and no playlist ads. Mm. So it would be nice to get some of those, and we'll, we'll see. There's nothing I can do about that. We'll just see what happens. Hey, um, I've loved having you along for this. Um, I'm going to be back very soon because I've got a new single uh, coming out in a few days' time, the end of this week, um, and it's going to be... Oh, it's one of it's a bonkers one, actually. It's called Adored, and I'll be talking to you about that in a few days' time, so hang in there. Lovely to talk to you. Do press um, subscribe and follow and all those blooming good things, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>